Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So today, in this video, we're gonna see how quickly Coke can heat up a one inch round bar of steel. Now this is just mild steel. Uh, it's dead cold, actually it's really cold. It's sitting out in the shop. It's been about 40 degrees or so all day today, so it's a pretty cold bar of steel. And I just wanna take and see how well this fire will heat this up. Now, I've been using this fire all day. Uh, th again, this is Coke that I just bought from a buddy of mine, which I'm very happy to report. I bought a ton of it, so I'm looking forward to using this in projects. I've been wanting to use this for a while in my work, just uh, using all Coke instead of green coal. And I just want to see how much effort it takes to take and get this good and hot. Now earlier I used a piece of 3 8 rod and put it in there. And with, I would say, within maybe a minute, under a minute, it ended up getting up to a point where it was just nice glowing orange, just a hot orange color. So you really can't beat that. So I'm gonna give this a try here. We're gonna film this in real time with me yammering away here. So we'll see how long it takes to get this good and hot. One of the things that I like to point out about Coke that I'm noticing about this brand of Coke is these pretty blue flames that are coming off of here. That's kind of a neat, neat thing. Definitely what I would call Instagram-worthy flames right there. In fact, I'm probably going to use that as a thumbnail. That's good stuff. I'm sitting that back like that. So. Get this good hot. While this is heating up, I just want to thank everybody for their support and everybody who's been uh, buying uh, blacksmith cheat sheets here lately and things like that. It really does help Just and I uh, be able to produce videos on a daily like this and uh, really makes really makes the difference some months. Uh, you all don't know how much. So thank you to everyone out there that's been going over to our website blacksmith pdfs.com. We do greatly appreciate you. So I don't know. Let's see here. I'm looking on the camera. It's been oh about a minute or so and we're already getting some color on the end of that bar. Not quite forging temp. Let's see how fast we can get up to forging temp here. Now one of the interesting things about Coke uh, that I have found out just in my limited experience of working with it um, probably some guys like Daniel Moss over at Trust Me on the Blacksmith and a lot of you guys over there in the UK uh, and a lot of the YouTube Smiths over there, they could probably attest to this, although I'm not sure they would know better. But Coke seems to require quite a bit of air flow going to it. And then wherever you don't want it to burn, you need to pack it down in those areas and so it only heats the areas that you're after. Because even though it looks like a pretty big fire, really the hottest portion of it's just right here in the center. So we're getting there, we're not there yet, but let's keep it going. So here we are about two minutes in from a completely cold one inch round bar. I'm pretty impressed with this so far. One of the nice things about Coke that i found that any time that you need to put a large billet of something in here, you can literally lay it on top and then just dump a big old pile of Coke on top of it and bring that whole thing up to a full welding heat. Uh, with green coal, it's a little more difficult to do that. You kind of have to build up a cave around the piece. And so, you know, this is quite a bit easier. So let's check this out again. Do a little rotation. There you go, that's pretty hot. So uh, on the camera, it looks a little hotter than what it actually is. It is probably, I would say a bright orange, about the color that it's looking on the camera right now. That's how it was when I first brought it out. So let's see if we can take this thing up to sparkling hot. So I can also cool some of this coat down. The parts of it I don't need to have going so hot and cool that down so it's not heating me so much. And we'll see how, how far we can go with this. Anyways, 
I just thought I'd share this with you. I got a whole ton of it. It was a great deal to me, so I really appreciate my friend and buddy there uh, helped me purchase this. So he likes it too, and he uses it all the time in his uh, architectural ironwork business. So. does snap quite a bit though. There we go. Not quite a sparkling heat, but still pretty darn hot. And with only about four minutes or so of it actually being in the fire. So that is a really good forging heat there. And so four minutes for a one inch round rod. Uh, yeah, Coke's pretty awesome. <laughs> Stay in school kids, don't do drugs. All right, we'll talk to y'all on the next one. Thanks for watching. God bless you.